register your firearms. Moreover than the registration failings and the background checks, we have A, no psychological evaluation for anyone owning a killing uh, weapon, and the background checks that we do have right now only show what you have done, even though those are fundamentally inadequate. So multiple fundamental status quo failings as far as gun control reform. Contention number three is a misunderstanding of gun control. What gun control for conservatives and liberals is a hot button phrase that conjures many fundamentally inaccurate, uh, inaccurate mental images. Um, so I want to give you three thoughts on misunderstandings of gun control. First, it's not an all or nothing game. When we're talking about gun control reform, especially in the context of honoring uh, victims of mass shooting, it's not an all or nothing game, not all guns or no guns whatsoever, simply limiting certain guns or, or not other guns. B, it's not necessarily limiting any guns at all, simply limiting people who have access to ownership of guns. For example, psych evaluations to determine, well, this person is not fundamentally mentally sound to own a firearm, so he cannot purchase um, this weapon. C point under this is rights are not inhibited necessarily at all. The Second Amendment, which is the, the rallying cry for all conservatives in favor, favor of unlimited gun control, or no gun control, I guess, is that we have the right to all weapons, but it's simply not the case. You have the right to own a weapon, not every single weapon that you possibly can. So rights are not inhibited by gun control whatsoever. Now the fourth contention I want to leave